Captain Noah Cates, would be an understatement. It was back in the spring that the Stillwater native took over the sea for Nick Wolf and Hunter Shepard. It's now about eight months later, and Noah had company have yet to see a game. So what is it like to lead the charge in unprecedented times? Because of COVID health and safety restrictions, players have to dress away from the arena. The only time they really see one another altogether is on the ice. See a huge part of, of any team and kind of building a championship team. Um, like I saw my freshman year, how close we were and how big how big that was to playing into our success. Um, in the pod, we're hoping to be able to be together more, play some cards, uh, kind of have that have that bus trip, that uh, time in the hotel, the little stories, just kind of having fun and uh, being able to be around each other. So uh, we're obviously all looking forward to that, but there's definitely been those challenges. Noah says it's been a challenge to navigate at times, saying what the team has done, what they can, scheduling golf outings and other socially distanced outdoor activities. Head coach Scott Sandlin speaks to Noah and the other three captains as well as the other upper and the other upperclassmen in their leadership during this time. He's such an example, I think, as a, as a leader, right? I think for me, that's one of the things that's impressed me the most since he's been here is Every day he comes to the rink and he's, he's got a purpose to, to what he's doing. He wants to get better. He, he's always doing something to make his game better. He's not told by a coach every day he's got to do this. He's just, you know, to me as a coach and as a coaching staff, that's what you love in, in, your, in your leaders is guys you don't have to say a lot to that are very self-motivated and, and set a good example for your team. And I think he's one of those guys that does that. And UMD faces Denver for their first game of the NCHC bubble that starts next week. And that's a game you can catch on My9 Sports along with almost all of UMD's games from the bubble down in Omaha, Nebraska. UMD drops the puck for their first game of the bubble on December 2nd against the fifth-ranked Pioneers. Here's an overview of the schedule. You can head to our website, cbs3duluth.com, and click on the Sports tab for an updated schedule as well. It is subject to change. Boy, I cannot wait. And I know the guys cannot wait to drop the puck. That's going to do it for sports for now. We'll more here back tonight at 10.